Uh, hello there, this is JolitaBrilliant.com and I decided to record this video outdoors. It's nice weather. Let me know if you like videos when I record outdoors better or indoors. I just got my tripod, nice setup, everything set up, but I find that it's nice weather. Anyway, uh, so Angelina Jolie had a uh, double mastectomy. And uh, it's complicated because I think she made a good choice. If you, now there are tests where they can tell you if you have a cancer gene. And one of my client's daughter, uh, she done tests and she doesn't have, even though her mom had, and she did pass away from the cancer. So it's good to know, to, you know, to be safe now. Of course, there is this thing, epigenetics, where now it's getting more popular and scientists try to figure out, um, you know, the how environment influences if the genes going to express themselves or not. And um, it's um, mostly for those who have cancer genes, but... Um, you know, the, 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 a lot of cancers even start without the genes, so you don't really need to have any gene. Um, it just depends what you eat and how, how is your lifestyle. If you drink, smoke, uh, if you live in a city, if you like, live in um, suburbs. And, um, you know, if you eat fried food, if you eat a lot of sugar, processed foods, meats. Um, now, sugar feeds cancer and fructose, especially carbohydrates, feeds cancer. And um, I I was consuming a lot of sugar. My mom died from cancer. Thank God I don't consume sugar anymore. Um, you can see what I buy right now. I can show you because I just got out of the shop. Well, this is carbohydrates, this is pickles. We do need carbohydrates, but only in vegetable form. I got avocado for fat. I got, as far as meat goes, I buy only wild meats, uh, fish, seafood, lean. I mean, I buy full fat. I'm not afraid of fat at all, but I don't buy fatty foods like you know I would buy full fat milk if I ever drink milk I would buy full fat cheese don't buy that plastic cheese but I don't eat cheese so I don't have to worry about that but you know I would buy fatty meat or salmon I wouldn't worry about it but it's just that I don't buy oils I don't I use olive oil because I think vegetable oils produces inflammation but I do buy sometimes you know uh, sausages like this because they're very good to take as a snack with you but I only well they I ask them to cut cut it up for me because um, it had some oil I wanted to see how it's inside but you see, to avoid cancer, you gotta buy no antibiotics, no growth hormones, um, you know, no byproducts. It's vegetarian feed because pigs are not meant to eat other pigs. And it doesn't have corn syrup or, or, or any other stuff. It has, like, you know, garlic, um, Lactic acid, like in milk, starter culture, sweet paprika, wine. Well, I don't, I'm not sure about the natural flavoring, but it, you know, it contains, no, it doesn't contain a lot of sea salt. And I don't eat a lot of pork, you know. It's just that I bought because I, I, I snack, it's a good snack. Uh, to take with you because it doesn't go bad. This is a little bit greenish, you know, 
but that's the way it is. It's natural. And that's it, you know, and that's how I eat. No hormones, no antibiotics, because imagine if these animals in factory farming, they are sick with tumors, and you eat that meat with tumors, they've been fed antibiotics and things like that, and farm-raised fish, you know. These things, do, do you think they're not going to cause your, might not cause your cells to mutate if you eat an animal that had cancer and had antibiotics and growth hormones? I mean, these growth hormones is going to make your, for your cells to grow in a weird way and cause you, make you overweight, all, all the other problems comes along with factory farm raised I mean you know it's still better than sugar even factory farm raised meat because it has uh, it's protein you know no matter what quality protein I would still go with the protein ever ever all, always uh, and so you know uh, the cancer, it's what we eat 95% and 5% it's genetic. Well, so if we have advantage right now to test if you have genetic and then plus we live in this environment, you know, it's like 50, almost 58% and Angelina Jolie, good of God, cancer. Her, her mom died at 50. You know, and I think she made a good choice. I, I want to go do a test myself. But right now, I think I can't do it. It costs, um, I think it costs 3,000, 5,000 grand. Um, it's not covered by insurance, not that I use insurance a lot, but um, it's, I, it's something on my list I will be doing in the near future. And, um, so if you can test yourself, I recommend testing yourself, but even if you found that gene, I mean, it doesn't mean everybody has to now remove their parts. Um, but on the other hand, I would stay safe and um, because not all cancers are environment caused. Some are really genetic. And uh, don't believe in quacks that say you can heal any cancer because you can't. You know, Angelina Jolie, she has the perfect situation, the perfect uh, money, doctors, accessible, anything on the planet that she wants to be, be able to create for her the perfect diet. And I'm sure she's on a very good low sugar um, diet. Look at how she looks. Um, she's so, she's in a great uh, form, shape, she's skinny, and I'm sure she's not hungry. She eats protein and vegetables, and she knows, her nutritionist knows how to feed actors and people like her. So she could have the perfect diet and reduce that, you know, risk of environmental causes, but she still decided to go, you know, so like Steve Jobs, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, this, this, the, it, 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 it's cancer, you, you can never know, you can't say you will heal with uh, eliminating meat or anything, you know, wild animals does not cause cancer, it, they just does not, because our body, that's what we made to run off, it would not make sense if, if fats would cause cancer because that's how our body's meant to live on run and hunters gatherers they live they had very little sugar available to them uh, so yes i would say you know do do testing if you if you had the people in your family died from cancer Avoid environmental causes, don't smoke, exercise, increase oxygen levels in your blood. This cancer thrives in a city. The oxygen deprived environment and be happy, have positive feelings, emotions, also mental, a lot of the mental. Uh, you have to not let yourself get sick, tell yourself.
I talk to my cells, my belly, my six pack abs. Now your body listens, your brain listens to you. Tell yourself you're beautiful, you love yourself every day and you'll see you get less sick, you'll eat healthier, you exercise more. Um, Self-talk is something, you know, doesn't mean you can, you know, not exercise and just be happy and you're gonna avoid getting overweight, no. But um, it's calories in, calories out, we don't burn out to gain the simple math. But eat protein, you will not be hungry, and eat food that we meant to eat, and you will avoid all the risks, reduce, you can never say avoid, you know. Maybe a fume from that one taxi will go into my brain and cause myself to mutate, you never know. So don't believe in quacks, that my mom would be alive today if she didn't believe in her quack telling her not to do an operation. I still think about it every day. I, can, I hate those people who say, you know, I'll guarantee you a healer, blah, blah, blah. Well, he didn't say her, I guarantee. He said, well, you probably don't have to do the surgery because you're kind of good now. The tumor is almost gone and then bam. Half a year ago, tumor is back at stage four, and it's too late. It's the worst disease ever. It's, if you've been with it, if you've seen it, you'll never want to experience or see people having it. It's terrible. It's the worst disease, I think, one of the worst diseases on the planet. So, yeah, I gotta get going right now. I got my olives. Got my. Um, gonna have to do my run today, and um, gotta do. Uh, it's nice. It's getting warm. It's sun. It's sunny. Gonna have to eat because I did. I didn't. I was just. I ate some spinach and some. Uh, scallops, but that's it. <laughs> so now, gonna avocado is not ripe yet, but um, gonna snack on these olives right now. These are awesome. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. Okay, guys, please subscribe. And let me know what you think. If you would do the mastectomy, I mean, she's like a sex symbol. And she is a strong woman. And a lot of women are going to follow her, you know. So it's a little bit dangerous for celebrities to, uh, you know, talk about these things openly like that. But maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it will bring more awareness into um, you know how okay, love you guys please subscribe to litabillion.com health coach and if you're interested in losing weight getting healthy uh, you need somebody to keep you accountable once a month twice a month I have different plans you're welcome to just contact me through my website or give me a call. I'll talk to you soon.